Another month, another community day. So this community day is running on May 21st from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. So it's only three hours, but they changed the time frame to the morning instead of the night. A bunch of bonuses going down during the community day. Three times catch Stardust, three hour incenses, three hour lure module, two times catch candy, two times chance of receiving a Geodude XL candy from catching a Lowland Geodude. Oh my God. Only for level 40 plus players though. One extra special trade per day and up to two hours after the day and trades during the event will be 50% less Stardust. A Lowland Geodude will be spawning everyone in the wild with a shiny rate of one in 25, by the way. You can involve a Lowland Graveler into a Lowland Golem to learn the exclusive fast attack rollout. This is a new move in Pokemon Go. You can get photobombed by five Lowland Geodudes during the community day by taking five snapshots. There'll be a group play bonus if enough Pokemon are caught with the help of a single lure module, the three times catch Stardust bonus from trainers. Near the lure Pokestops will become a four times catch bonus for 30 minutes. We'll talk about this bonus a little bit further in the video, but it's honestly one of the most insane things we've ever had in the game. There'll be a $1 special research story in the shop. You can buy for $1 USD, get you access to a couple extra items and counters and all that jazz. You can now get gift that special research story as well. At the time of recording this video, I don't know exact details on how it's gonna work, but you will be able to give these tickets and future community day tickets. Event battle in the shop for 975 pool coins, featuring a super incubator, one lucky egg, an elite fast jam, and a star piece, and 30 free ultra balls in the shop. And finally, some stickers you can get from opening gifts at Pokestops and in the in-game shop. Alolan Geodude's shiny line is on screen, by the way, if you wanna check it out. Okay, let's hop right into it, starting with the 100% IVs for Alolan Geodude. If you get an Alolan Geodude from a research task during the day, it's gonna be caught at level 15, because all research tasks are caught at level 15. Level 15, IV for Alolan Geodude is 554. So look for that CP when you do research tasks because that's a guaranteed 100% IV. Now Alolan Geodude gets boosted in partly cloudy and rainy weather. The highest level a Pokemon can be in weather boost is going to be level 35. That's the max level you could ever find a Pokemon. Since no CP can be higher than the level 35 hundo, a 1201 CP Alolan Geodude during weather boost is going to be a guaranteed 100% IV in the wild. If it is not rainy or cloudy weather, so no weather boost on your Alolan Geodude, the highest level is going to be level 30. And since no CP can be higher than the level 30 hundo in those conditions, 1108 is going to be the guaranteed 100% IV. Other than that, in the wild, a lot of different CPs can be 100% IV, so there's no really way to know exactly, except for those two scenarios. So just catch as many as you can and hope you get the hundo by the end of the day. We also got to talk about PvP IVs. In Pokemon Go, run running Pokemon in PvP, generally you want low attack, high defense, high stamina on majority of Pokemon if they max out above the CP cap. Let's go to the specifically the best IV sets for PvP for all three of the leagues. First, we're going to talk about Alolan Golem in the Great Ultra and Master League. In the Great League, a 1 14 15 is going to be the best IV set you can get for Alolan Golem. It's going to lead to the highest overall stat product, which pretty much just means the highest overall total stats. However, anything low attack, high defense, high stamina will work. For example, a 0 15 6 is still a rank 16. In the Ultra League, we're looking at a 0 15 15 as the rank 1 IV, the common rank 1. Again, it's going to give you the highest stat product, but anything low attack, high defense, high stamina will work well for the Ultra League for Lolan Golem. In the Master League, of course, 15 15 15, the 100% IV is going to be your go to. And if you're running in the Little Cup, 3 15 13 is 100% IV. However, funny enough, honestly, I would argue a Lolan Graveler is a better PvP Pokemon, specifically for some special special Great League Cup. So let's run through the rank one for Alolan Graveler. In the Great League, because it's probably the only place we'll be running Alolan Graveler, a 0, 14, 15 is the rank one. So look for that IV set. But again, anything low attack or defense high stamina will do you well. Remember, you can download an app like Poke Genie to instantly scan your Pokemon during the community day and it'll tell you how good that IV set is if you don't want to jump to this website and cross check it. But I will link this website below if you want to check it out. You can get six times catch Stardust during this community day. We talked about the group play bonus giving you up to four times catch XP near a lure module if enough trainers catch Pokemon off the lure. I remember during stuff of community day, this bonus was pretty easy to activate. A couple trainers only need to catch like a couple Pokemon each and that bonus will get active. So as long as you're near lure modules, you'll have this bonus active. If you throw in a star piece near this lure, you're getting six times catch Stardust on Pokemon you catch near the lure module. If there's one thing you can do during the community day, it's going to be stick near lure modules, throw in a star piece and just spam every single catch. Six times catch Stardust on a Lolan Geodude is 600 Stardust per catch. For a Pokemon that's going to be continuously spawning for three hours, you can can, like, I'm not going to be surprised if people break huge million and huge records for community day Stardust games. On top of that, if you've been stacking Pokemon like Trubbish, Audino, Starmie, Combi, or whatever in your stack tasks and following the tips here on the channel, wait until the bonus goes live, go near a lure, and then catch those Pokemon near those lures. Now, unless I'm wrong and this bonus only applies to spawning a Lolan Geodude, you can get six times catch XP on Trubbishes, Audinos, and other things you have in your stack tasks. Don't forget to catch your stack task, but wait until you're near one of those four times catch Stardust lure modules to do it. In the end of the day, guys, if you need Stardust, and you probably do, it's the best resource in Pokemon Go, go near the lures, throw in the lure modules, hang with the trainer so you guys get the bonus active, throw in the star piece, and just catch all day. If I had it my way, I'd be throwing down a picnic, posted up in a lure spot, eating a sandwich, and racking in that Stardust. Okay, since it's a three-hour calm day, how are you guys going to get so much candy for this Pokemon? Luckily enough, we do have two times catch candy, but there's other things you can do. First of all, Mega Evolving a Pokemon that shares a type with the Alolan Geodude can get you extra candy. Specifically, Mega Aerodactyl, Mega Manectric, or Mega Amphros are going to be the three you want to Mega Evolve. If you have 
have one of these three megas at the high level because I believe no one actually has a max level mega yet. You can actually get increased XL candy as well for catching Lolan Jujus during the day. So just mega evolve one of those three megas, whichever one you have, that's the highest potential level. And if all of them are just level one, then you can just, just mega evolve at least one of these during the community day. On top of that, using pineapps and silver pineapp berries are gonna be in your best interest. You get two times catch candy plus a pineapp berry. That's up to like 12 candy per catch for a regular pineapp berry and 14 for a silver pineapp because silver pineapps gets you a little bit extra candy. All in all, you shouldn't have any issues stacking up a lot of candy during the community day. As long as you follow those things, use those pineapps, have that mega active and just catch, catch, catch. Okay, the community day is over. What do you do? You need to trade. And there's a secret bonus as well that comes with trading. Number one reason is going to be for the lucky Pokemon. There's a 5% chance when you trade Pokemon that a Pokemon goes lucky. Lucky Pokemon have an IV floor of 12, 12, 12 and be half the amount of starters to power up. If you're looking for a high IV Alolan Golem, you might as well get it through trades. But the secret bonus is going to be the free evolution bonus. If you trade a Geodude or a Graveler, when you finally decide to evolve the Graveler into the Golem, it's going to be a free evolution cost instead of 100 candies. Yes, it's one of those free evolution Pokemon. What this allows you to do is trade a bunch of Geodudes with your friend and then all those Geodudes you're receiving, you can technically get two evolutions for only 25 candies total. This is great because not only evolving Pokemon gets you XP, so this is a great way to get a bunch of Geodudes and then just evolve them because you're going to have loads of candy and grind a bunch of XP, but also work on some Platinum Metals, which we're going to get into in a sec. Before we talk about the Platinum Metals though, we are getting two special trades during the community day, so make sure you go ahead, schedule with your friend to do some of these special trades. Mirror trading some shiny Pokemon, some legendary Pokemon to try to get a Shlundo is going to be a, a good thing to do. So definitely go ahead and message some friends you've been lucky with. That leads us on to the final segment, Platinum Metals in Pokemon Go. You need 35 Platinum Metals, go from level 48 to 49 in Pokemon Go. Make sure you start working on them now because they're not easy to get in a pickle. First of all, Alolan Geodude is a rock and electric Pokemon. So the Rocker Metal and the Hiker Metal catch 2,500 of, you know, those certain types. And once you Platinum these, by the way, it actually does make it easier to catch rock and electric type Pokemon. We also have the Picnicker Metal. Use a Lure Module to help any trainer to catch 2,500 Pokemon. If you can go to a busy area, be the first person to drop lures, it's going to be easy to complete this metal. Reason being is, you know, there's that bonus that's going to be kind of incentivizing people to catch Pokemon off lures so we can activate the four times catch starter. So definitely go ahead, drop a bunch of lures during the community day. A bunch of trainers will catch those Pokemon off those lures to try to activate the bonus and you'll be just racking up this metal and laughing all the way to the bank. On top of that, make sure you use magnetic lure modules if you can, because this is going to be boosting spawns for Pokemon like Beldum and also for the, of course, the Alolan Geodude. But having those extra rare spawns in there randomly pop up is always nice when there is two times catch candy. You can get five snapshots during the community day. Don't forget to do it. Put a reminder on your phone because the cameraman metal have 4,000 encounters in Go Snapshot. Definitely one worth completing. And even if you completed it, go ahead, take the snapshots. It's always cool to see how high this metal can get for you. Finally, scientist metal evolve 2,000 Pokemon. Again, you trade a Geodude and it's going to be free to go from the Graveler into the Golem. A great chance to go ahead and start grinding out the scientist metal because you can get a lot of evolutions for pretty cheap. Two evolutions for an average of 12.5 candies each. Definitely worth going ahead. Even after community, like a couple days after, if you still have some Geodude, still trade them with your friend. You can get some cheap evolutions. Hopefully you guys are ready for Alolan Geodude community day and excited um, to get that Stardust because this community day is all about Stardust. Really the main goal um, is going to be to grind, grind, grind and get as much stars as you can. You'll probably get more stars during this community that you would get in like a whole week. Comment below any other tips I missed and have an amazing rest of your day guys. Follow for a different one. Peace.